Hey, how you doing? It's your girl, Nisi. So, I know I haven't been on here in a minute. And I'm sitting in my car just thinking about some things or whatever. Mm, earlier, I was listening to two songs that I... I don't hardly listen to the radio, but I heard them on the radio and I just, like, I'm really feeling those two songs, but that's not why I came on here for. What I came on here for is my thoughts, just my thoughts of the day or whatever, or right now. The two videos by the same man, um, and he, I guess he was simply asking, answering questions that was asked over YouTube. I'm not sure. I heard him say something like that. But I was trying to, you know, the first one was like, you know, what a man, I think what a man wants or what a man likes or something like that. I don't know. I forget. But it was it was a pretty interesting video or whatever. And he was just, you know, explaining, you know, what a real man uh, wants in a woman. And um, he was saying, like, there's two types of men and everything. You got your grown boy and you got, a, of course, a man. Um... And he was just, you know, telling the difference between a grown boy and the man and what a man really wants and what a grown boy, I guess, want. You know, he wants, to me, a grown boy wants a mama. Yeah, like you want to date your mama. You want to have sex with your mama? No, that that's that's disgusting. Because I mean, you want a woman, a grown a grown boy wants a woman who's gonna have sex with them, but yet cleans up behind them and do cook for him, clean his clothes, and all that good stuff or whatever. But he mainly wants sex too or whatever so that's how you differ or difference from the mama or whatever because you're having sex with that person ew <sighs> but I'm just saying um but a man you know he he wants a woman or whatever um and he knows how to do all those things you know he takes care of his his home his woman he knows how to take care of things or whatever y'all know the difference or whatever if y'all don't know the difference shame on you um and you know the difference because one I mean y'all know the difference y'all just know the difference between a grown boy and a man one is really going to take care of you, ain't going to leave you, ain't going to have sex with you and be gone to the next and then drop you off there and drop you off there or whatever. He's, he's actually the one that stays in the picture, okay? And that's what he's supposed to do. Um... But anyway, but that's not the one, that's not the video that got my mind running or whatever um or what has me like really running and got my mind running and thinking about different stuff is the fact okay so the second video was like five things that you know you don't tell a guy up front and I literally did all five of those things or whatever and almost all of my 
in almost all of my relationships or whatever. I could say almost all except for my marriage. I did not. I probably did maybe two or three told some stuff, but not up front. Eventually, you know, my ex-husband found out or whatever because I told them, told him or whatever, but I, like ap the relationships after my ex-husband, after I got a divorce, I told them or whatever because I thought that's like I thought that was going to be good, a good thing, but it turns out, no, you don't do that. And I'm like, okay, I'm like 41 years old today, not literally today, but I'm 41 years old, but, and I'm just now finding this out that you don't tell stuff up, I mean, you don't tell things what he said. You don't tell it up front or whatever. And I'm like, you and basically he pretty much was like really and truly don't even tell or whatever. It's not your your past is your past. And I'm like, okay, how am I supposed to like how am I supposed to be in a relationship? Like I don't know. Like, I guess when, cause he said a man will ask those questions or whatever. And when they do, you just tell them it's none of their business. And I'm like, oh. And he said, if they, if they go, they go. That's their deal breaker. That's their deal breaker. You just won because, hey. I'm like, okay. I can look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, I can look at it that way. Um, so, I said, well, what way I can do this is when they ask that question, ask them a question back. Are you dating me now or are you dating my past? Point blank, right? So, yeah, that's, I've just been sitting here and it, like, my mind has been, like, really, really turning, 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 trying, I'm trying my best to try to figure this thing out, like, okay, so, we don't talk about past traumas, we don't talk about, of course, the body counts, we already know that. Um, and we don't talk about past relationships. You don't talk about what he said. Oh, what you want in a man. You don't tell that. <laughs> He had another one, y'all. He had another one. I can't think of it. But, and I forgot the guy's name or whatever. But he, he's, I guess he's trying to be like, or he is not trying to be. He probably some type of coach or whatever. Or like a motivational speaker, coach, life coach type of person, relationship coach. Um, I don't know, but I, Gaskin or something like that, y'all, just, just try to find them up. I, I think it's Gaskin, Gaskin, or whatever, um, but yeah, it was one more and I can't think of it, but like I almost I really did all of them I did at last for like all five it, at some point or another I did all five and I could tell you my last boyfriend I literally did all of them I think I did all of them 
and like I told him everything, and he literally, uh, I don't know if he really, mm, he might have, like after the fact, uh, we broke up or whatever, but he did try to be my therapist. He did, um, try, after we broke up, he tried to use some of this stuff against me or whatever. Um, but, yeah. Ladies, we gotta do this. <laughs> we can't be telling everything. We can't be telling everything. I just wanted to get on here and do my little thought of the day or whatever. Like, it's what? 422.24? Yeah, I just want to do my little random thought or whatever. Um, So, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to go. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Peace out. So, hello everybody, how are you doing? I am Nisi, yay! Okay, today is April the 23rd, yeah. April the 23rd, 2024, and I guess you could say this is my car carnival, or whatever you say the word. Anywho. Um, so, I just want to come to you guys and just turn this radio down before they talk, trying to meet me and everything, because they all up in my background. So, um, today's thoughts, I don't know, I don't know. My today's thoughts, I will just say, is I'm not going to worry because everything is taken care of. And even though the things that I'm facing right now, that I'm going through right now, I want to cry. I true enough, I really do want to cry. And I... I shared a couple of tears, just a few, just a few, but I, I stopped myself because I know that God got me, and so why am I crying when you? I know that God has me and has my back and everything is going to be okay, so I stopped myself from crying because, see, that's what you know, the devil or my flesh or whatever it is or whoever it is wants me to do or whatever it is to, you know, get overwhelmed and start crying. But no, I'm not going to do that because I have been in this situation before. Yesterday, I came up with a solution, thanks to God. And thank you for sending. Oh, sending my best friend to like help me with my thoughts, cause I really needed. I needed help figuring out my thoughts and everything. And when she called. And I was trying not to like speak stuff out into existence or whatever, but I was like, I didn't have to like, you know, speak it like that, like for me to manifest it or whatever, but I needed to speak it out as to getting a solution. And she helped me do that. She helped me sort it out. Well, you know, God told her to call me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, my thoughts of for today is I'm not going to worry. 
Don't worry, because God got you. So if you need this word too, don't you worry. You know God got you. You know God got you. I don't care what time or day it is, whatever, at whatever point you see this video, know and trust that God got you. He, he has you. He's been with you. He got you. He already told you what to do. You just need to do it. Okay. So, that's my thoughts for today. So, bye.